On the full plate diet, we talk about fiber a lot, especially foods that are high in fiber and high in water. That means we do talk about beans a lot. Well, I have a great appetizer for you for a Mexican meal I'm going to show you, but first we need a blender. Now there's lots of blenders on the market. For years I had a Vitamix, which is a great, great blender. But then I found this blender, the Blendtec, and after I tried it out, I sold my Vitamix on eBay. It's a great blender. It comes with this recipe book called Lifestyles Recipe Book. And on page 167, there's a great recipe for bean soup that makes a wonderful appetizer for a Mexican meal. For this quick and easy recipe, you're going to need a blender, some broth, you can use beef broth, chicken broth, I'm using vegetable broth so I can have a real low-fat meal, a couple cans of garbanzo beans, a couple cans of black beans, some chili powder, some onion powder, some ground cumin, then some chopped up bell pepper of different colors, some lime juice, and some garlic. That's it. Now there's something you need to be aware about with canned beans. They typically have a lot of sodium in them. As a matter of fact, these beans have about 450 milligrams of sodium in just half a cup. So in order to lower the sodium by about 40 percent, we're going to open all of these beans, put them in a colander, and rinse them off. Then we'll be ready to go. I have my rinsed beans now and I'm reserving about a cup of the bean mixture and the bell pepper for kind of a last minute surprise. So we just put in the beans, add the garlic, the stock, and we have uh, one tablespoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of cumin. That goes in. And then we're going to add a tablespoon and a half of lime juice. That's all there is to it. We put the lid on. And on the blend tick we push the button that says soup. Well as you can see this makes a very thick soup and it was so thick that I even added some more water to it to water it down a little bit because it was getting really too thick. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add those extra beans and the bell pepper and we're just going to use the pulse setting to pulse it and chop those up a little bit so we can get some texture in the soup. And that's it. We're done. Look at that wonderful thick, thick, hearty soup. One cup of this soup has 16 grams of fiber. So this makes an excellent appetizer. If you're going to have some chicken enchiladas or some beef fajitas, this is a great way to start with a high fiber, high water appetizer for your Mexican meal.